Okay, then you tell my us name. about your name. Yes, my name is uh, Jacqueline Musioki. I work with the Water Services Trust Fund in Kenya. Okay, please tell us about the Water Services Trust Fund briefly. Yes, the Water Services Trust Fund is an institution that was created through an act of parliament when the Minister of Water and Irrigation was undertaking water sector reforms in Kenya in 2002. The Water Services Trust Fund started its operations in 2005. Okay. What is the water situation now in Kenya? The water situation now in Kenya is a government emergency because there is a very severe drought, there is no water and there is no food. So we, like for example even in Nairobi we get water once in a week because the dams have dried up. The electricity is rationed because we have hydropower stations and there is no water in the dams. So it's a serious, serious. So how does this impact on environmental sanitation? Uh, with the water once in a week, where, you know, even the upmarket up areas, it is serious because it means now the, the people in the urban poor are not even getting water. And when they get it, it's so expensive, they don't know where the source is, the, the source of the water that they are getting. Mm. So what the government has done is we providing water through water tankers to these slum areas. And then we're selling them uh, the water at a fair price because uh, the, the cartels that sell water when there is no water, they are very happy now they are making a kill. Yes. <laughs> so how does the Water Trust Fund, how does it come in? The Water Service Trust Fund is, does not come in in terms of emergency because uh, it doesn't have an emergency window. It is there to make sure that in future the urban poor are provided with water and sanitation and um, the reason is that we, we want to be the institution for the future for financing rural areas and urban poor because all the other mechanisms by the ministry they are not um, well documented like we have documented for example this is our process on how we give water to the water and sanitation to the rural areas okay. and this is how we give water to the urban areas so we have documented our processes and procedures and when we get partners we tell them this is the way we go so okay. we don't just finance we have processes that we keep so if you can just tell us about um, the number of communities that need um, the services or the assistance of your board, yes. your fund now? Yes. We have more, over 400 areas that we have targeted as a priority in the country. We have used the poverty index from the Bu Central Bureau of Statistics in Kenya. They have given us the areas that are water poor, where there is no government intervention, where the communities are just using whatever source they get. There is no water quality measures. So we go to these areas. We have uh, eight water services boards in the country. So we have uh, sat together with the boards and they have given us the priority list. So using this priority list, we tell them to sensitize the communities and then they help them to make water proposals which they bring to us and we give the money to the communities in these areas to do a water and sanitation oh, project. Okay. Um, well, but if the rivers are dry yes. and the dams are also dry, yes. how do you, At the moment, yes. Yes, how do you um, get the taps to flow even when you have the money? At this moment, actually the taps are dry. And the, so what we are doing now in the in the rural areas, for example, is to make sure that we do boreholes, and then we make sure that we install them with solar pumps, because otherwise they are unable to manage diesel pumps, which are were the common feature before. But now we tell them we want to you to get water even in future, so the water projects must be having sustainable energy sources like solar and wind mm. and that way then they, they you know the little money they have to buy food they don't have also to, to, use, to use all of it to, to buy water and diesel okay. is there anything pumps. more that 
you would want to add? Yes, I want to say that uh, we want to, in the next two, three years, we can see our strategic plan. And our strategic plan, we have captured the number of people that we want to cover with water and sanitation. And we have uh, developed information system. Uh, we are partnering with other NGOs like UNICEF to, for the water wash program. And we want to make sure that the Water Services Trust Fund is the, we want to encourage the government to fund uh, rural water and urban water the, for the poor using the Water Services Trust Fund. Because the systems are clear, they are transparent, and they are very participatory. Thank you very much.